And welcome back to Survivor Hot Takes with me, Coach Drew, aka the Cesspool Truther. Uh, today, we are talking about that online cesspool uh, known as Survivor Reddit, or just the Survivor online community in general. Uh, today, I have to film from my bedroom because I'm in the process of moving, and uh, yeah... Things are just kind of all over the place, so this is the best uh, place for me to film. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but I have that season 40 caricature shirt that went out last spring. Um, and before I begin, I just want to say, I do not think that everyone that is online doing sharing Survivor news or rumors or whatever... Uh, are you know some type of grimy person or whatever uh having said that uh especially with the new seasons coming up you start to see a lot of rumors starting to spread and my first introduction to uh the survivor rumor mill was probably i want to say right around when i was in college where people for some reason want to know who sleeps with who at Ponderosa and I'm sitting there reading it and it's like everyone is everyone's either shipping them which I have no problem with shipping what I do have a problem with is when people post things and try to state it as fact so you'll see someone will, will type in like it'll it'll say um is it true that this person slept with this person? And then there'll be 500 comments of people saying, oh yeah, because I heard from this person, I heard from this person. And it's usually total bullshit. But because the online survivor community, and I, I'd say most large fandoms have this issue as well, where it just becomes saturated with a bunch of bullshit. And that's why I refer to it as a cesspool. Uh, so, like I said, I wanted to get that out of the way. I do not think that if you participate online with Survivor that you are some type of bad person. So, um, the first, I guess, rumor going on right now is, I don't think that, I don't think it's been confirmed as of yet. I know it's been heavily pushed, um, but that Survivor's dropping down to 29 days for Season 41 and maybe for the foreseeable future. I personally don't have a problem with it, but, and it seems like the majority of people don't have a problem with it either. Having said that, there is a very large vocal minority who thinks it's going to somehow ruin the game because they're not having to do what, you know, people all the way back in season one had to do, or, well, season two doesn't count because they had 42, um, but that there's somehow change it's destroying the game and you hear this a lot whenever they introduce anything into the game you know whether it's redemption island did it really ruin the game no do people like it no uh fire tokens it's still you know up for debate it's only happened once uh, immunity idols you know yes i do feel like there are too many idols now but do i think that it's inherently ruined the game no um so you know people thinking that it dropping down to 29 days somehow um, limits, somehow, you know, changes the game that much to the point where it's not the same game anymore. It's always going to be Survivor. What, I, what I've always tried to preach is every season of Survivor is a different game, different version of Survivor. So when people say, oh yeah, Chris Underwood, he shouldn't have won Edge of Extinction. I'm like, well, why oh because he got voted out and it's not fair i'm like well in that season that was a part of the rules you get voted out and come back in you know you, you yes if it if that wasn't there yeah obviously he shouldn't have won because he wouldn't have been back in the game but the fact that these rules and these things are being put into place people just have to deal with it i mean we're not the ones playing it now if the people playing in the game say that they have qualms with it that's a different story but in that case just, just don't play it's simple as that um but to say that 29 days is going to, i i feel like that'll up the gameplay a, a lot more because yes i'm i'm a staunch advocate of the social gameplay 
Um, but having said that, people are going to have to start strategizing a lot earlier because everything's going to be boom, boom, boom. And all of a sudden you're sitting at the end and you haven't done anything because all that time that you would usually spend getting to know people was, you know, is now limited. Um, so yeah, I think there will be more exciting gameplay and, you know, the, the sociopaths that, that love the strategic element of the game, they'll get their fix. Um, We'll get, I'm pretty sure we'll get a lot of tears on screen because it's going to be a lot of people's feelings getting hurt. Um, but I think that whoever pulls out this win, I, I mean, it hasn't happened yet. We don't know. But I feel like a winner that wins in a shorter amount of time might be more respected just because they don't have that much time to do all of these things that means they, they're doing this in such a short amount of time that you know if they were to pull it off and one person will it'd be amazing uh, so i think i think the 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 issue i think the issue that i i'm seeing with these people is and it's 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 the same with like I keep saying with almost any fandom, you introduce new things that people are not used to, or you 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 change you change one little th one little thing a ten day thing, uh, that people aren't used to, and all of a sudden it's not the same anymore. If it wasn't the same anymore, they wouldn't call it Survivor. Uh, so I think that needs to chill out a little bit. And it looks like it is dying down a lot within the last two weeks. I think the news came out two weeks ago, so yeah. Um, but then we fast forward to last week, and this is where the cesspool part of this comes through. Because the internet is the internet, and you have to believe everything that you see on the internet, uh, it was allegedly leaked what the theme for Survivor 41 was going to be. And so it's going all over the place, and everyone really buying into it. Um I didn't see many skeptics, which is insane because there are always skeptics about anything online. Uh, so the fact that I didn't see anyone being skeptical about this made me think, oh, okay, it might be real. I haven't seen it confirmed anywhere, but it could be real. So you go online, you go online, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, this is this is what the, the theme's going to be. This is the cast list. These are the pictures of these people on the cast. Everything seems like it's on the up and up. I know, I know a couple of people that are in the know in the real community, and you know they they were hesitant to say yes to, but uh, they were kind of on board with it. And you know, then it comes out that it was all faked, um, from the screen grab of the script to the cast members to all of it. It was fake. Now, we could be our chains could be being yanked with that, with people telling us it's fake, just to throw us off our uh, throw us off the scent, and that actually could be real. But I think the 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 bigger issue here is, I think because we haven't had Survivor in so long, the first bit of Survivor or the two big pieces of Survivor news that come out within a three week time frame everyone immediately hopped on board with and believed everything that was said when usually people are very skeptical about everything um just just look at things happening in the world and a certain fight that happened last night and it's like there's so much there's so much that could be wrong with this but you guys are just gonna take it now i'm a guilty party with this you know i absolutely fell for the theme uh, because it seemed realistic, which is the point of people fooling It's just like the um, the Paul McCartney is dead lie from that might be going right over most of you people's heads, but um, that was a lie back in the day that Paul McCartney had died. And you see it all the time with Twitter every day. It's oh, someone died, and it's like, did did they? And, it'll, and then some bad will come out and say, oh, I'm not dead. The internet lied. Um, so. Do I think that that theme could still be it and this is just a red herring to throw us off? Yes. 
Will I be surprised if it was just an, an elaborate scheme just to like get everyone riled up? Also, yes. Um, I'm not one to just put all of my eggs in one basket when it comes to rumors be- until something is confirmed, you know, from the big survivor media outlets, you know. That's not Reddit. Reddit is for people to put, you know, their lists of favorite players, uh, their list of favorite seasons, their watching experiences, if they're re-watching it, their hot takes, their hot takes that they think are hot, but really are just like, oh yeah, oh, I, I don't think that, uh, you know, hot take, but I don't think that Ben is like the best winner. And it's like, wow, that's, that's so crazy. Why do you think that? Um, but people still use Reddit to get their information. Um, and I, I understand that. Yeah, I, I do. Because a lot of the time, something that's posted on there, probably there, there's probably truth sprinkled in there. But I, I, I just don't understand taking all of this news at face value. Um, I'm trying to think back. I know I mentioned the the Ponderosa hookup thing earlier, but I'm trying to think back on other survivor rumors that I had heard in the past where I'm just like, okay, first of all, who cares uh, for the Ponderosa thing? But also, like, what? <clears throat> because it always inevitably happens. Somehow, people always figure out before the season even airs, this person's going to win because of whatever. Truthfully, it's probably because they, through six degrees of separation, just know someone was there or whatever, and they know. It leaks out. Now, you have to go to the dark, dark webs to find that answer, but the people that do go through all of that just to find out who wins, just to share it with everyone else, those are the the, the slime balls, the, uh, the, the schemers and all that. This is the people that we need to rid ourselves of. Um, but the, the fun thing about it is when they do post it, you see more people being, okay, I don't know if that's true. Like as it gets close, as it gets closer, I think people start probably start to buy into it, but like, there are always going to be trolls that like say, Oh, this person wins. I got it off of this. And everyone's like, Oh yeah, sure, bro. Whatever. Uh, but every now and then someone will post the truth. And you kind of sit there, like, almost rooting for that person to lose, the person that is supposedly going to win, rooting for that person to lose so that this Reddit troll isn't, you know, didn't get you. It reminds me of um, when the seventh Harry Potter book came out. And in the weeks leading up to it, people were just posting all of these spoilers. And some of them, and oh, not even some of them, all of them ended up being real on what I saw. But I remember reading the book and just like, please don't let this one thing happen. Even if all this other stuff happened, just don't let this one thing happen. And every single thing happened exactly how the spoiler said it would. And I had no control over it because back in 2007, I mean, it was right when Facebook and everything was coming out or was becoming popular. So I, like clickbait was very easy to get trapped in. And especially as a 15 year old kid at the time, yeah, anything that was clickbaity, I was gonna click on it. Uh, and against my better judgment, I found out um, a lot, including I think maybe one survivor winner. I'm pretty sure I learned one survivor winner before it actually happened. And I was praying that it was not true um, because I, I think it, it had to have been a returner season because it was maybe it was Cochran because I just remember saying like Cochran that wouldn't make any sense because he already played it's like well okay and then I yeah so when Caramon came out and it's like oh yeah it's Sansa's favorites I'm like oh shit and then Cochran comes off the helicopter and it's like oh well all right I think maybe and I think once Philip got eliminated it was like oh wow yeah this guy's gonna win this this troll this fuck troll um so yeah i'm interested to see where these rumors go from here um because you know you have 
leaked cast list, leaked title uh, of the next season, and then you have um, the the rumor and or potential truth that they're moving to twenty nine days. So where do we go from here? You know, we're not we're still not going to have a season for a few more months. So what? How outlandish are these? Are these rumors going to get within the next uh, four to five months, especially over the summer? Um, people are going to be, you know, partying again. People are going to be rewatching Survivor to get ready for the next season. And there's going to be all these variables. And, you know, I'm just, I'm asking people, I'm begging people, don't believe everything that you see on Survivor Reddit because if you start spreading it around you know it could be true it might not be true and you're, you're not you're ruining the fun for everybody else um but i'm interested to see where the next step of these rumors are going to go going into season 41 um will they how many more potential cast leaks will we have um how many potential oh well, we know they're filming in look uh, in fiji so like i don't think i don't see anyone being like oh no did you hear they're actually you know filming in new zealand now it's like oh really that's cool, cool. um so where do yeah where do we go from here and i think that that's a very interesting thing to um ponder because we have nothing else going on unless you're going through survivor again which i am um your your survivor thoughts your survivor whatever has to go to reddit because where else are you going to get your survivor content from so yes you're going to go on reddit and you're going to post your um your your top rankings and your your takes about how uh bob crowley is the greatest winner that's ever existed and those are cool because it gets it gets people debating and i and i love it i love a good debate um but when you see someone post like hey season 41 secrets revealed just if you're going to click on it kind of you know do it just knowing that this is potentially just all bullshit and move on with your day but don't don't repost it you know this is like hey do you think this is real like what's up don't share it with everyone because no <sighs> oh it's so frustrating it's so frustrating because this is this is supposed to be the what i would say the pure fandom and the fact that it's not um pure fandom, and the fact that it's it's slow and not even slowly it's been happening for i think like 15 15 years i would say since the messiness started online. Um, this is supposed to be, yeah, yeah, blah 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 blah. blah. Not like, oh, did you hear that Survivor Forty Three is going to be uh, an all legend season? Well, how do you know that, bro? Um, but yeah, so we were. I know we said last week that we were going to do a. Uh, deep dive into survivor more cases this week but with all of these coming out i figured do a quick episode and just kind of discuss like my thoughts on it and how i can tell you guys how to think but don't trust reddit it's a cesspool uh but we will be back next uh, next sunday uh, with finally our survivor more cases um deep dive recap and hopefully i can sway a lot more people into you know i i've always said that my case is probably the most underrated season and i think sepia is the most underrated uh, and hopefully we can uh we can discuss next week and um yeah and i'm really interested to see i'm really interested to see uh what happened next and uh, yeah, until then, stay tuned.